Uh, hi guys, uh, I'm just starting to do the live transmission tonight for the uh, full moon uh, in Aries. Lots of energy, yes. Uh, so people that are just joining the live, just as I add the live to a few groups, could you just let me know that you can hear the sound quality okay before we continue? Yeah, just give me a sec, guys. So welcome, everybody. I'm just uh, allowing a bit of time uh, for people to find this feed, and then we'll get going. Welcome everybody, welcome. <sighs> so just uh, allowing people to yeah, hop on and find the live. For some reason, uh, good old Facebook is playing up a little bit, so um, I can't seem to add the uh, live to um, groups tonight for some reason. There you go. So you can feel free to uh, tag group people that you know and share this in uh, a group if you feel to. Uh, a post or after, I'm hopefully going to pop it on... Um, Pop it on YouTube too later, yeah. So um, I think I'll give up uh, trying to f pop it on groups for tonight. Um, and so whoever gets to see this uh, live is who's meant to see it. And um, we'll just continue um, from here, yeah. So just hello to everybody that's joined live. And just as we are gathering, I just want you to Imagine that you're anchoring through your pillar of light before we get going. Obviously, this is a um, a powerful day, a powerful time. Uh, the uh, energies of this um, uh, full moon in areas are very intense, very catalytic, very volatile potentially. But um, but so lots of energy for uh, in motion, lots of in, lots of emotions potentially bubbling up, uh, some old wounding potentially bubbling up, um, uh, some anger potentially bubbling up, or other strong emotions uh, that are, have been sequestered are coming up and out at this time, so that we may um, move forward, clear the decks, and continue to accelerate our frequencies. Yeah. So just as you sit. Before we get going, I just want you to imagine that through the 12th chakra above your head that we bring down a golden thread or a golden light, which is your higher self frequency, and we're just bringing it down through your astral plane into the physical through the crown, through the, cr through the whole of your body, um, allowing this to anchor through your perineum floor and this grounding cord then of golden light goes through your perineum floor into the center of the earth. Yeah. So just for a moment, allowing that thread of golden light to transfer from your 12th chakra to your earth star and into the center of the earth. So that you become the, the radiant conduit of light. The radiant aspect of your higher self is um, anchoring in through the physical vessel, through the energies of your heart, solar plexus, third eye, throat. That so that you so that we are held from below through the 
great mother, yes? And that we are anchored for the entirety of that session into her so that we are feeling grounded, held, supported, but also gifting through our uh, cosmic conduits, if you will, a energy that is to be anchored through us as uh, beings of service, yeah? So take a breath. So I don't feel to say too much exactly about the uh, full moon itself. There's a lot of uh, text already out there. Let's just say that there's opposing forces. It's uh, feeling a bit like a pressure cooker. There's tensions. There's also woundings with the Chiron uh, aspect uh, coming up a little as well. So there's or, or um, an invitation to step into more of your uh, purpose, more of your uh, leadership in the healing capacity, in your healing work, um, healing yourself at accelerated rates, and stepping out uh, into uh, new flows through the activation of this very um, uh, powerful uh, full moon that is really asking us to take inspired action as well. Yeah. So uh, when I was um, tuning in to tonight as an offering, uh, I was re I received the energy. Um, uh, from um, uh, the blue dragons, the sapphire blue dragons, yeah? Uh, even though this is not <laughs> exactly sapphire, it is a blue dragon, a sodalite dragon. So I feel like he will help us uh, come into alignment with this frequency, yeah? So uh, I was uh, guided that I would uh, bring in a channeling or a transmission um, for the throat chakra, particularly at this time. So that again, this is about um, divine speech, uh, feeling that it is, uh, you are able to speak what has not been spoken before. So this is where there could be uh, eruptions or volatile emotions as you, as suppression is released. So they, and people that, um, that have a lot of suppression that also that are not aware of their own process or even ourselves when we are a bit caught off our, our game, uh, then we can project or some of the energies can get directed towards um, others that really uh, sh it shouldn't be directed towards. So it is a time of um, uh, explosiveness of energy, if you will, but this explosiveness is like a birthing, like a... <laughs> catalyst to expand us and fire us up, fire us up into a uh, uh, passionate creative space within. Yeah. So firstly, I want to work with this theme that I channeled around the sapphire egg. It's a dragon's egg, a sapphire dragon's egg. And I feel like it is a symbol for the throat chakra. Yeah. Symbol for the throat chakra. <clears throat> And this egg is, it's, it's sort of like, you know, we're hatching, we're birthing, we're, uh, we're, we're breaking out, we're breaking out of an old, uh, matrix. And this is not just the, the, the matrix that everybody talks about all the time. This is the matrix of our own being. So we are breaking out of, um, where we have held energies, where we have, uh, set beliefs where we have um, um, where we have uh, habitually, it, it could be even held in the family line, not spoken or felt unsafe or uh, some such thing. Yeah. So yes, uh, uh, Sandy, lots of fire with uh, this Aries uh, ruled by Mars at this time. Yeah. <clears throat> so that this, let, so let's work with this symbolic egg, this sapphire egg. It's a cooling symbol. It's this sapphire blue is very cooling. So it's an antidote, somewhat, to uh, the intense fire that is here right now in our systems. So it's a balancing but it is also breaking through. You are breaking through something. You're breaking through a belief system. You're breaking through a way of being. You're breaking through um, a patterning that has held you back. 
Yeah. So again, just listen to this vibration, this light language with your awareness, with your energy, maybe even with your throat chakra. And we're just intending that this breaks through uh, patterning. It frees up the throat chakra for more expression uh, in alignment with the truth of who you are at a higher self level rather than the, um, I guess, the day to day, uh, patterning and run-of-the-mill ego stuff that we sometimes get trapped into yeah so so we're ma imagining this sapphire energy around the throat yeah now we're going to work with the lines of energy either side of your throat now <coughs> uh, uh, a a area we're going to sort of just uh, uh, allow some more flow allow some more flow in the energy of the throat it's like the uh, if we think about the egg cracking uh, rebirthing uh, or birthing a a, a, a baby uh, being uh, it, it sort of has to uh, mm, the energies have to crack the egg has to crack we have to break out of the old so this is what this is um, opening up in our uh, throat area <clears throat> almost like gills of a fish if you will almost like gills of a fish yeah I shall come to the decapitic of the Gabaco that a Gabatican 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 ちゃんとかんたらかばれかんたらかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたかたか
uh, um, streams upon streams of advanced energies coming in one after the other, we are being upgraded exponentially now with no break. So the body elemental needs extra support in many different ways. Mm. Uh, so let us firstly work with this um, energy of your um, of your nervous system, yeah, of your nervous system. And this is tied into uh, the fight flight uh, uh, procedure of your of your brain. So linking, so we're working with the brainstem, we're working with the uh, uh, the heart, uh, the the gut, and the, even linking down the connective tissue, linking into your hips as the psoas. So we are really wanting to unravel the energies of uh, the vagus nerve and uh, your uh, gut, uh, gut, head, heart uh, intelligence. So uh, we're wanting to release out of the um, the uh, reptilian brain or the reptilian consciousness. And what, and what I saw in that last piece of channeling light language was that, you know, when uh, we or mm -mm, reptiles evolved do, 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 out of the oceans or the, the, the water that again, that again, and into land, it took a, a, a fairly, um, uh, uh, some time to evolve the evolution of that process. But there are elements that stayed with us that we need now to d -d 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 dissolve out. And this is so that we keep, so that we don't keep getting hooked or triggered. Yes, hooked or triggered. And this is partly what's coming up in this uh, full moon uh, in Aries is big triggers, big uh, arisings of wounds, big... Um, outpouring of emotions and and all naturally so at this time i mean that's why these um these crosses these cardinal signs are all woof, coming together in a pressure cooker to to break and awaken us uh to uh, like like stop us holding on so tightly because we need to surrender the old ways and that's not that will happen of course in the outward world, but we also need to do that internally, internally with our own systems to surrender, to let go, to release these old patterns of survival, fight, flight, ba 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 ba. Hmm? Yes. So let me work again, even though it's a very fiery uh, full moon, I'm getting guided to work with blue. I think because of the, uh, the water reference, the cooling reference, the antidote, the antidote and the peace and the calming of blue. And also, uh, obviously, Archangel Michael uh, connection I have with that energy. So this is, uh, and this is Archangel Michael's energy, that very fiery, thank you, Tanya. So we're really wanting to access, uh, uh, your vagus nerve, your gut, heart, um, uh, 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 brain stem, and we're releasing, we're releasing a reptilian response. We are releasing you out of a, uh, prime, prime, primal, uh, reactive response. Yes. Mm. And this is also to be gifted energetically to the earth, to the collective consciousness as um, eruptions continue to um, manifest. Yes. <clears throat> so let us uh, work with the Vegas nerve here. Jundra <laughs> 
opening the back of the third eye, uh, the fourth eye, if you will. Uh, please let me know how that one was for you. If there's any comments or any questions uh, before we continue, yeah. So just taking a breath or two as that energy settles, yeah? Allowing it to weave through your uh, central nervous system, yeah? Allowing it to shift responses energetically in your being. Over and over, um, yes, we are unraveling. We're unraveling uh, patterning. We're uh, uh, um, unraveling matrix chords, uh, uh, familiar chords, uh, uh, mm, peer group chords, um, collective chords. We are unraveling ancestral karma, dragonia. We are unraveling the nervous system to make uh, more integrated and more wise choices. Yeah. And all of that allows a uh, deepening into the physical, a deepening and a widening into the physical form, into the energetic body, which allows us to be more in the central, central line so that even if there's a chaos of energies going around or there's that pressure cooker coming in from the current astrology that we could... Um, release out of that and find a deeper sense of uh, peace, a deeper sense of uh, stillness within. And that allows us to then bring down the golden light of our higher self, a Christ is frequency, if you will. Perfect, Kay. You don't have to always understand the energies or the codes. It's really trusting your own being and allowing it to move and uh, sound if you need to. Um, whatever needs to happen um, in your being individually to come back into a deeper sense of uh, harmony. Yeah. So uh, fair play to you. Fair play. Yes, an unraveling. As the nervous system unravels, as the consciousness unravels, as the neural pathways shift, then we are able to access more of our master self, our our um, uh, our magic self, if you will, our higher self, in, in physicalized in the body, and that allows a um, a deep knowing a deep knowing to arise and a deep stillness that then uh, can translate the energies coming through to um, inspired thought and action. Yeah, If we are being uh, hijacked or triggered by the past, then it is hard to stay in our center. And there are many energies at this moment inviting us to uh, lose our... our Lose our center, if you will. Yeah. So we have to come back to uh, some sort of unraveling is necessary so that we can be knocked off center enough to shift our organism. So a little bit of chaos is not such a bad thing at times because it's kind of shaking us to the core, which allows us to do something different. And spirit always says, when you've been taken off your center, it allows spirit energies to work with you in a in a in a more um 
accessible way because um because you're not in your mind in control held in a certain format yeah if that makes sense so this little guy is now calling so we've worked with the um the throat worked with the sapphire egg yeah the sapphire dragon's egg analogy yeah and now i feel like uh, we're wanting to work with these fire dragons yeah there's actually two of them so there's twin fire dragons here yeah mm. so these twin fire dragons uh, are sunstone yeah sunstone quite cute yeah and these guys are coming in uh, with fire codes yeah fire codes from this very aries mars pluto um chiron smackdown if you want to call it that yeah so this intense um uh, uh grand cross i think it's a cross in the sky uh, yeah so we are wanting to uh i'm bringing in two fire lines of energy that are kind of come through uh, the left side and the right side, uh, uh, the brainstem and down either side of the spine. This is a um, firing up of your frequency, your kundalini. It's a purification also of your channels. Uh, so whatever has been uh, um, unearthed at this time, we are simply helping it to purify, cleanse and release. <sighs> And through the, the burning away with this fire energy through these two sunstone dragons, twin dragons, yeah? Okay. So once again, allow the energies to work through your uh, channels at either side of your uh, central core channel, okay? Taking it right down to your sake back of the sacrum. And then it fans around either side of your sacrum, almost like the wings of a phoenix going around your um, the back of the sacrum and encompassing your whole pelvic bowl in a cauldron of fire. This is purifying an excitation of your lower two chakras, both the the base chakra and the sacral. Alabargiana. Halabagiana, halabagiana, halabaka. So once again, allowing that energy to settle, yeah. Giving yourself a few breaths, gentle breaths, yeah. Allowing yourself to um, really Work with these cords, work with them to anchor into your being. Just set your lower chakras alight, yeah? This is a, a both a clearing and an excitation. This is a shifting of stagnation, yeah? A, fu a burning, a burning away of the old so that you may uh, lighten up, uh, enlighten up, and really uh, purge out those old energies uh, let them dissolve back 
through the ethers or, or let them send them to the earth and let them uh, be uh, snaffled up by the earth dragons in center of the earth so that they are eaten away dissolved purified neutralized yeah neutralized neutralized so all these energies that we are working with are really supporting you to uh shift your identity you know aries is all about uh self-identity yeah or uh, especially when Chiron's involved, the wounding around self-identity. So we are uh, releasing blocks, restrictions, energetic habit habits that have uh, uh, made us believe ourselves to be uh, a certain way or a false sense of self or a manipulated energetic sense of self. So what is happening, especially at this time and this full moon, is that these barriers are being invited to move or shift or release. And in the releasing of these energetic barriers or energetic um, restrictions that we have mostly placed upon ourselves inadvertently through our, um, uh, our, our younger years, but also through past lives and what we have brought in karmically, we are again dissolving another layer of that so that we are uh, freeing ourselves up freeing ourselves up energetically to be more of our soul's truth in a physical form and as this physical form widens relaxes and the energy expand energy expands through your physical then you can have that conduit that secure safe grounded conduit to a, a physical vessel to bring through the energies and get the codes or the inspirational thought or however you do it Everybody's different. Everyone perceives in a different way. Ba 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 ba. Thank you, my love, Tanya. Thank you for that. Boom, boom, boom. So big clearing in the uh, pelvis. Yeah, big clearing in the pelvis. So let's take a moment. <sighs> Just feeling all the energies that her, we have been working with and how they are shifting and re realigning you. Uh, shifting your uh, central channel, uh, your uh, the two channels around your body, your pelvis, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your back of your third eye, your fourth eye. All of these energies supporting you to uh, let go, to let go of the past, really, the past, so that you can form a new truth that is more aligned with your soul's identity rather than... Um, how you formed certain aspects this life, yeah. You know? So that your energy can be free. So that you can flow through your whole pillar from the uh, crown to the uh, base chakra. So that you can be that rainbow bridge between heaven and earth. And in that place, you are anchored, you are safe, you are trusting, you have no doubt, and you create, yeah. You know? And you create from this place that is supremely expanded and allowing. And this uh, allowing uh, can take so many forms because you're not uh, anticipating a, a, an outcome. You're not um, anticipating a time frame of experience or what it will look like. You are following divine flow. And when you follow divine flow, really, uh, you as a soul can create whatever you wish if you truly believe. So we are, we are being encouraged to dream big and imagine how we wish our lives to be moving forward. And for the highest timeline of Gaia and what unfolds in the next coming years. Yeah. So there are many energies that are inviting us down a certain narrative and certain narratives and certain timelines, but we also are powerful creators and manifestors. So much more so now that we've been really anchoring in all these um, different streams of consciousness through the solar activations in the last few months. Yeah, So we're now really primed. We're really primed for service. We're really primed for magic, alchemy. This is the time of alchemy, of bringing in new um, 
du Kopogiana Naka as we move into uh, Pluto in Aqu Aquarius, as we leave Capricorn behind for the last time, we are going to accelerate in innovation, in, in alchemy, in, in durki, in electricity, that Uranian energy. So we are being encouraged to work with uh, universal flow, universal flow. Yeah. So, do do the gimbal, do no baraganda. So I want to work with this uh, sodalite ankh. Yeah. Do uh, the symbol for universal flow. And at this time, it just wants to come in as a symbol into your light body, if you will, into your energy body, um, at the uh, area of your heart and your solar plexus. Yeah. So it is linking back to the ancient wisdom of um, the true knowledge of the mystery schools of Egypt. Of course, there was much distortion and much um, heinous acts performed during that period, but there was originally in the purity of the energy, uh, mm, divine and alchemical, um, magic. Mm? And we want to bring in some of that alchemical magic now into our being because what came through at the 1010 itself was a, um, a, a shift in our body. Not just at a cellular level and an energy level, but now at a mineral composi composition level. That the energies that have been pumped through are um, uh, streamed in through the, gal uh, the galactic alignments and the and the shifting of the uh, magnetics of the Earth, and also the energies that are coming up through uh, the uh, core into um, to the surface of the earth, uh, um, allowing a new mineralization of the physical body to occur. So we're actually, you know, uh, I was talking to a friend today and we're talking about the carbon to crystalline um, light body and, and lightening up of our being. But now it feels like we are uh, much more in the crystalline phase, many of us. And and now in within that, there is a shift in the minerals of the earth, the minerals of our being. So I want to bring in all of that as an energy, as a light activation to support you in a deep mineral activation shift, cosmic shift, universal flow alignment. It's all very fancy, but all you have to do is listen to the words, soak it in through your energy and let me know what happens if you feel to, or just go and have a nap and see what happens after that. Yeah. Okay, so allow yourself to receive these beautiful codes. I would say there are codes of beauty, universal beauty for your being at this time in this uh, transformational, transformational portal that we're in. Yeah, so allow this. Hello, Eva. Allow this to soak through your being as a gift from the universe for you as a conduit of, of God's creation. Yeah. Or sources creation. Okay. Junto de que botan na na caputo de que botan na na ca. Joba de que botan na na capu que botan na na capu na de que. Shala poia na de que poia na na que poia na na ca. Shala poia na na poia na na ca poia na na que. Shamba de que poia na na ca. Shala poia na na poia de que na na co. Coia na na ca. Coia na na ca. Shota de que poia na na que poia na na ca. Shoba de que na na que poia na na ca. Shobayana de Kipo de Ayana Naka, Shalabokurko, 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 Shalabatika put the Ganda de Kaporka Pokotiana Naka, Shalabokotiana Naka Potokotiana Naka de Kananana, Shalabayana Lukotiana Naka to Totokiana Naka, Shukayana Naka, Shuyana Nakiana Naka. So allow those energies to go deep within your being, creating a space of stillness and a void, a void within, a void of expansion, a void of universal flow of all that is, that you are connected with this uh, expanded uh, sense of yourself at all times and that you can recall it energetically through your pillar so that whatever is going on around you or in the world does not um, take you off balance, you know, 
so that you stay in your zone. Yeah, so that you stay in your zone. Mm. So take a breath. So I'm just looking at all the little goodies that I sort of set up today for this um, Thanks Lisa, this event, the Crystal Grid, you can look on my page, you can see the Crystal Grid and all the crystals that we're working with tonight that are holding space for this transmission. But I really get to work with this little guy, which is kind of random, but you know, I'll just go with it. So this is a, a very cute uh, snail skull, can you believe? Just got a little skull and then a snail, yeah? I'm going to place it on my left hand. So this is, mm, so the snail, of course, is a representation of patience, of patience. And this is, uh, and this is a representation of the frequency of patience. Uh, uh, it's, it's coming in as a golden light. Uh, fiery energy from from the Christ consciousness, if you will. Um, and it is coming in through the, the chakra of the left hand. And this is because the energies are so super activating, super alchemical and super stimulating for our, our beings right now. Um, sometimes it's hard to channel them or, he, or, or, or even hard to settle, them, to have a good night's sleep or to not feel a little bit anxious in this intensity. Yeah, So... This little cutie is reminding us that we we need to step back a little and take some patience with ourselves. So if you've got triggers coming up, if you have, like yourself, like I do, I get a little bit excitable and think I've got to do more and I've got to do it now and blah, 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 blah. So stepping back from that busyness, stepping back from that need to, to, to do, not that you can't do in this very, action oriented Mars and Aries energy, but do it from a place of grounded centeredness, not because you're kind of impulsed to do it and, and reactive, yeah? So we want to just create this energy of a, a deep patience within, a deep settling, a deep stillness within, so that you feel that your action, your inspired action comes from a place of authenticity, yeah, rather than fueled by um, agitation or anxiety even, yeah, because of the intensity of this energy, yeah. So let's, let's just work with this little guy. Uh, also very grounding, he's um, uh, black obsidian, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's just work with this, yeah. Again, it's energy for the heart and solar plexus, settling us out of habitual tendencies. So then allowing that deep stillness to arise within you, you know? So when I'm working in this way with these energies, with the light language, it is a, a graduated stepping down through spirit, through uh, different frequencies for us to find a still point. Yeah, to find a still point within, because it's important more now than ever to be that still point in the storm. Yeah, in 
a storm of energies that are, are all around. So we practice staying here. We practice staying deeply, uh, lovingly, compassionately held in our own hearts. You know, open to receive, but just like the dragon emerging from the egg. There is a stillness before the hatching process, before the cracking of the egg. Stillness. And then, eventually, an energy comes and there is a movement and there is a cracking and there is a breaking and there is a profound shift. But at the moment, stillness is really important because in this stillness, many energies are being shifted and rearranged within us so that the cracking of the shell can occur, the cracking of the ego sheath, if you will, the cracking of the matrix cording, so that you are so deeply shifted from the inner being to your outer edges, through the heart and beyond, through the heart as a portal to everything, to all, to all of your multidimensional energies, to all of the aspects of your soul, so that you can call in, call in your ancient wisdom, call in your alchemy and your magic. And so it is, so it is, so it is, amen. So feel into this space, become familiar with this space in your being as a place to hang out and reside whenever you are feeling overwhelmed or overloaded or triggered by something. So I just want to finish um, with one more piece. Yeah. Is everyone doing okay? Mm. So I just want to finish one more piece. This is a sphere. Uh, again, black obsidian, so earthy grounding. It's got a Metatron's cube on it, yeah? Metatron's cube. Uh, I took this one to the Dane Tree, so it's infused with the, the magic of the Dane Tree, the magic of the rainforest, yeah? Ancient trees, ancient wise knowledge, yeah? So this one is going to uh, support like a uh, etheric basket, yeah, etheric basket. It's going to support our uh, base chakra, the, the obsidian, yeah. This is just to allow us to feel really held, yeah, really held as these uh, tumultuous times continue because we are, uh, many of us have been uh, triggered through our uh, uh, programming, our uh, our habitual patterning into uh, survival um, mode, yeah, survival fear, yeah. So this one particularly is to soothe that base chakra and to allow it to feel anchored so that 
the perineum floor can drop. Yeah, because sometimes when we get a little frightened, even if it's not in our awareness, there's a tendency to squish up our base of our body to lift off the earth because it doesn't feel safe at some level. Yeah, and that can be just habitual through our family or our own uh, belief systems. Yeah, so we want to remind our body elemental that we are safe or as safe as, as, as can be. Yeah. Um, so we are all again reprogramming, deprogramming thoughts, belief, frequencies, um, holding patterns by uh, asking uh, the energy of this uh, sacred geometry of Metatron's cube to uh, come and support the base of our being. Yeah, yeah. So that we are held. So that we are held. So just allow this energy to work with your lower body. You might, it might be uh, also your sacral chakra, um, <clears throat> as a way to, uh, release a little bit out of that strong survival matrix that has been triggered in people right now. Okay. So once again, lower chakras, clearing, purging, releasing. Yeah. Ah, yes, and often, Lisa, very deep, um, deep, painful energies are held there that, you know, we don't always have to have a story. Some of us may do, but well, let's just invite these energies to be released now so that we may feel more freedom, so that we may feel more expansion and that it is safe to take that, that next leap, that next quantum leap in our energetic um, being and to bring forth more of our, uh, you know, more of our alchemy and magic in the world. Okay. So again, just uh, listening to the sound. Shalbutu <laughs> Boy, <laughs> So taking a breath, maybe you want to just regroup your energy now as we almost wrap up, feeling your base on the f on your seat or the floor, feeling your spine, feeling your brainstem, feeling your back of your heart, the front of your heart. Taking a couple of breaths and out with some ah sighs. Ah. Ah. So this is a good practice to do at the moment. Just occasionally, if you find yourself feeling pressured or uh, stressed or anxious or uh, triggered by the energies to, ah, to create space, to stretch your body, to, uh, uh, you know, make sound, movement, breath, and sound so important as we try and stretch our beings, our consciousness, and our, our energies at this um, at this really tumultuous um, breakthrough frequency we have going on right now. Yeah. So, um, I think that is all I wish to work with tonight. Yeah. Um, so obviously this will sit here 
So if you feel you want to listen to it, please watch the replay. I will upload it onto YouTube, so it will be there for your viewing pleasure as well. Please feel free to share this around and about. Um, tag, put it in a group if you feel to. That would be awesome. Um, I do have a couple of events coming up. I'll be back in Sydney for the 11-11, and I will then be in Byron for the 16th and the 17th of November. Um, hopefully I might catch at one of those events or um, definitely there'll be an online uh, component for the 11-11 if you're not in Sydney or even if you are and you have uh, can't grab a ticket in room, uh, it will be available. As always, uh, the, the, cr the crystals that I worked with um, get energized and activated on the grid prior to this session but also during the activation. So if you would like to take home some of that energy that we have worked with tonight to support yourself, um, then please feel free to reach out and message me, Ari, um, any of the crystals that I worked with. Or if you liked any of the crystals that are put on the grid, you can click back onto my page and have a look at the grid that I set up for this event. Um, some real beauties. Um, what else? Uh, if you are going through a little bit of um, a purging and releasing and it feels like you need a little extra uh, support and, and just helping the mind settle as well because sometimes it's good to get some um, psychic uh, support uh, in what's going on for you energetically. So if that's something that you wish to connect with, you can uh, PM me also at this time. Uh, I have some availability for one-on-ones. Um, I'm much more focusing at the moment on the group work. Uh, I just feel like it, it gets out to more people and it's more profound and it works with the earth grids in a more deep, uh, deeply accelerated way. But I still do some of the one-on-ones also. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in so much. Um, I hope this was supportive of your full moon in Aries. It has been quite a supercharged day and really supercharged week since the uh, 1010 portal. The 1010 portal is also available to purchase. It was a two hour event in Sydney and it was working with Beetle Geist, um, supernova charged energy, su super sun frequency. Um, if you feel like you're a supernova soul, that might be something that you might resonate with. Otherwise, um, I'll catch you online here sometime for another free transmission. So take care, guys. Uh, much love and catch you in the ethers. Uh, bye for now. And I can't switch it off, so we'll be here for a few minutes um, just while that's my connection. Okay, guys. So I'm going to switch it off now and I hope you have a pleasant evening and I'll catch you very soon.